Dear UCR ABLE, what an incredible two weeks it has been. We are honored to have walked with you in this phase of your leadership journey. A year ago, we would have thought it impossible to execute the ABLE program in a virtual format at this caliber of learning. But here we are. We met the challenges of the moment, innovated our approach, promoted the program, and you answered the call. Students that are part of this program will inspire change. They'll envision new opportunities. They're gonna really be the leaders of the next generation of resilient companies. We are so proud of you for taking advantage of this opportunity and for choosing to engage with us throughout the program. I think strategy exists because um, if you do come up with a good plan, it helps you um, consider any obstacles that could get in the way before you reach your goal, and it helps you prepare for them correctly and um, to the best of your ability. Excellent, Sarah, thank you very much. Let's take the next few minutes to recap our accelerated leadership journey. On our first day of the program, Layla Dennis gave us a seminar on utilizing our strengths to be the best we can be. So it sounds like you all have a very good idea of what leaders are responsible for, uh, which is awesome because each of these examples that you have given, they fall into three categories, uh, which we refer to as the three P's of leadership. So I'm gonna go ahead. She helped us understand that leaders are tasked with balancing the needs of people, productivity, and profit and discussed how we can utilize the strengths of each member in our business competition. You shared with the group your top five strengths and how you can leverage them as a leader. Dr. Josso led us through sessions on winning and strategy and helped us discover the insights we gained as a group. And then here's the most important thing. You teach us something new. You know, teach us something new, whatever that is. Maybe you bring some unique, and I know you will. You reflected on the three things that you need to become a winning center of excellence. And even created a personal mission statement to help guide your life and decision-making. On Wednesday of week one, UCR MBA alumni Alyssa and Val joined us to demonstrate how they have chosen to step forward in every opportunity. Uh, my time at UC Riverside certainly was led by my leadership journey, including my interactions with multiple professors, multiple admin staff, and many external donors and sponsors that the school had engaged. It was great to build a network around um, similar like-minded students. One thing I realized though was that um, the mentality of business students is they, they talk a lot about the business side, but that's not how entrepreneurship happens. Entrepreneurship happens from cross disciplines, talking with uh, individuals in engineering, talking with individuals in, in different parts of the world. It really built my problem solving skills. And then from there, um, I started building my first consulting company. Which... Dr. Ravindran taught us that structure follows strategy. Beautiful, Sarah. Very good point. I love how you started this whole thing. You said, it depends. You already got an A in my class. Uh, my students know it depends is always the right answer. You just have to figure out what it depends on. And you gave me two beautiful examples. Yes, it depends you. on your strengths and weaknesses. Being a change in strategy will often require a change in structure. And that there is no ideal or perfect design, only those that are more suitable for different situations or purposes. On Friday of week one, Dr. Wong highlighted the importance of utilizing evidence in decision making to improve team performance. She guided us through the decision making process and shared strategies to help us recognize how our biases often lead to ineffective decisions. From there, then you can evaluate these options. Now again, you're going to evaluate these options based on the criteria that you determined that were important. So that would be example um, price, healthiness, and distance and you reflected on how you will approach decision-making as a leader. You even got to share your bright spots from the ABLE program. More teamwork, knowing people from all around the world, hearing advice from other faculty and AGSM students, 
great. Getting to hear about the different professors that you might meet in person, having great group members, meeting people again. Excellent. On Monday of week two, Dr. Ingram taught us theories that help us understand leader follower dynamics and how to navigate those dynamics to increase job satisfaction and overall performance. So long story short, what are we saying? If somebody does something for me, I feel inclined to do something for them. So in our exchange relationships, reciprocity, according to Golden, the Golder 1960, the norm of reciprocity exists within our societal relationships. So the relationship also involves trust. Stronger relationships are cult cultivated in situations where trust is involved and reciprocity. And you reflected on what we can learn about leadership by simply being a follower. Dr. Frage followed up Dr. Ingram's session by helping us understand our natural tendencies when faced with conflict and gave us some tools for how to navigate conflict when it arises. So, my first question to you, is conflict a good thing or a bad thing? On Wednesday of week two, we were honored to have the president and vice president of TCL join us to share about how they have built and grown their company to what it is today. So in 2019 and last year, we became the top two TV brand and truly the fastest growing TV brand in the US. Uh, TCL is a big, big company, uh, over 75,000 employees, 26 R&D centers around the globe, uh, 21 factories or manufacturing bases. And we do business in, uh, in just over 80 countries where we actually have a network and do business in nearly 200 uh, so nearly every country or territory in the world. Uh, so really a big, big company. Um, and it's focused in all the right areas uh, for consumer products. And I tell my staff all the time that if you're not making mistakes, that's because you're moving too slow or too far within your comfort zone. You even had a chance to reflect on how you have grown as a leader throughout the program. And on Friday, you showed up to the business competition, ready to blow us away with all that you had learned about innovation and strategy and applied it to your company. So good evening, everyone. My name is Tessa and my team and I are here on behalf of Tyson Foods. Apple has made it so successful since it launched Macintosh in 1984 and its first iPhone in the year 2007. So the playing field currently, um, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, has had some, several negative effects on uh, FedEx. Focus on some facts. First and foremost, environment practice. About 15 million tons of e-waste is thrown away each year. But Best Buy, they've helped their consumers recycle more than 2 billion pounds of electronics since 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and my pleasure to give you the winning team, winning team, is Best Buy. Thank you very much. Good job. UCR ABLE participants, you did it! Congratulations to our 2021 winter cohort.